Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Gary, aka The Plastic Boy, and thank you for joining me today. Okay, today's video is gonna be super exciting. Okay, so last week before I got extremely ill, I got to go to a Pat McGrath event. It was incredible, like insane. Like, it was so annoying. I actually saw Pat from a distance, but I didn't get to meet her just because I didn't realize she was in a certain room to the end of the night. But I actually got to see my friend, Jackie Ina. She's so sweet, I love her. Well, she's a friend in my head, but you know, we've seen each other a few times, you know, you know, but she was really sweet anyway. So I've got a few Pat McGrath products here that she sent me to play with. So I'm gonna show you them. I'm gonna go through it first. So we've got the, I'm not sure what these are called. These are called the, um lost gloss lip glass so i've got two shades here which look like this so this one's kind of like um a duo chrome and this one's kind of like a pink shade and they're in the shades um I'll, I'll put them in the description bar below. My eyesight is going so fun. I've been filming all day we also have this pencil from her this is the um what is this called or oh, the pam ultra glide pencil in extreme black how dark is that? Oh my god, that's probably one of the blackest eyeliners I've ever seen. And a sharpener does come in the packaging. We've also got some lipsticks. Do I have two lipsticks or one? Maybe it's one. I thought I had more. So this is the lipstick here. What I love is like, look at the component. It's so stunning. It's so insane. What I don't like though is that like, I have swatched this already. Sorry guys, I'm literally so excited to film this. That um, this looks like it would look a bit lighter, but when you swatch it. It's actually kind of like a darker kind of like flesh tone nude. It's really, really nice, but I feel like if this was on it, it could pop like trick you to thinking it's like a light nude, but love the packaging. So, so bomb. I actually love it. So we actually have the highlight palette and this is called the Sublime Skin Highlight Palette, which looks like this. So, so gorgeous. And we have these three colors here. Like, oh my God, they're all equally nice on deep skin tones. Let me swatch a few for you, what all of them. That's what they look like on. Let me swatch them down my hands. And that's the kind of finish they have. So, so pretty, really paralyzed, really blinding. And plus you can wet them to create more of like a sheen on the um, cheekbone. Then we have the big mama. So this mama, look at the packaging this comes in. Like it is worth every single penny. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's about 110 pounds for the palette, sis. Pat, Auntie Pat, can we speak? All I'm gonna say is this is so heavy that if I was to throw it across the room, I'd probably box a bitch down. Like, let me open it for you. Oh, how gorgeous is this guy? The palette is so gorgeous. Like the shadows are so buttery. Look at that pigment. It looks so wet. I cannot cope. Oh my God. God, like the pigment is real. Like, look at that pigment. Oh my God. I cannot cope. So, oh my God, it's actually covering my tattoo. So we're gonna do what I look for you today. I've already prepped my skin. I've got on the Sunday Riley CEO oil. Been loving the oil. So I'm not gonna chat for too long. Let's just get into the video, guys. Okay, so guys, I'm not even sure what color to go for. I think I'm gonna go for like this kind of color of, like here, like this one, this one. This one, this one. I'm gonna do something a bit red. I'm not gonna do something like so extra. I'm not even sure why I put concealer on my eye. These shadows are pigmented. I think it's just like habit of trade. Um, I'm gonna go in with this. Oh, there's no, there's no names on them. Oh, I'm gonna go in with this shade here and just start off like as a transition color because it's super, super cute. Oh my God, pigment. Have you guys been anyway? Like what's new? Um, I've got so many videos coming up for you guys. I think when this comes out, I'll probably be in LA, you know, I'm not too sure. It just depends. I think I'm gonna be at Coachella or just like, I'll probably upload while I'm in LA just because I'm like pre-filming everything before I go. Just so it kind of like eases the workload off me. I've got loads of glitter on my eyes, still so annoying. This color is quite neutral. Hmm. I feel like it's gonna be a tiny bit peachy. I'm gonna take another brush now. I might go in with the shade this one here, so, so pretty. I'm not sure, there's no shade names on there, but this is called the Mothership Palette, and it says shade throwing and eye ecstasy. I love it. So I'm gonna go in with that shade, it's so, so pretty. Guys, I've just been so ill recently. Like, I feel like, I'm just kind of like happy to be like, you know, have my health, because I feel like sometimes we just take our like health for granted. Like, I've, I was in bed, sick, 
for like maybe four days and like because i live by myself i have like housemates and stuff but i just felt not alone but i just felt like oh my god like imagine if like something was really wrong with me who would actually come and help me obviously i've got friends i could ask that like, come and help me and stuff but sometimes i feel so sad that like my family are in birmingham and like i don't really have any close immediate family in london i don't know you know what i mean like everyone that's really close to me is in birmingham and i just feel like oh my god sometimes it would be nice to just have someone to like go over ha have like a family eat like meal chill but you know it's just one of those things i guess growing up i guess it's so funny when i was like younger these shadows are blending out so nicely <laughs> but when i was um younger i wanted to grow up so fast i was like oh my god i can't wait to be like older I can't wait to have a mobile phone I can't wait to have a, like an account i can't wait to just fly anywhere and now i can do those stuff it's so stressful being an adult is so hard i wish sometimes i could just be like 17 actually maybe not 17 maybe like 21 again not 21 maybe like 18 again and like you know live at home live with my nan have an easy life but i guess we all gotta grow up it's actually my guys i really love the way this palette's blending out the colors are a bit neutral for me i just felt like it should have been like something warmer but i'm gonna go in with this purple just to smoke it up but so far i really like the way it's looking it, it's now it just if it was just blending really beautifully i'm just gonna Put a bit on this corner here i'm probably doing the most basic simple eye ever but you guys gotta let me know like what are some good brands to try that i really want to try that brand everyone's speaking about called mented i know it's like a um makeup line targeted towards like deeper skin tone people and i know they do some really good nude lipstick of her jacket and i speak about it and nima tang i want to check out some of their stuff so i might place the order when i'm back from la just so I can see what's really popping. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this red shade here. I might use my, oh, this palette's got such a big mirror. Like it's actually stunning. I might use my finger just to see how, this is so buttery. Let me just press that on. Sometimes these palettes go better on with your finger. This color is so stunning. Like what the hell? Oh my God. This color is really nice. It's quite unique. I've never seen a color like it. Let me use a brush actually because my finger is too fat to be getting in there. Have a got a brush. Oh my God. Let me use this brush. Okay. Guys, I can't get over this palette. I'm not sure if it's worth a hundred pounds though. Like would you, would you guys, I guess you pay for the packaging and like it's an experience in it. I feel like, this kind of makeup, the packaging, the colors. I feel like you just don't pay for the makeup. You pay for everything. It's like a service as well. It's like Pat McGrath. She's like legendary, you know? I'm actually living for the colors. I love this red shade. I feel like it's really unique. Like I know a lot of palettes do red, but I've never seen like a burgundy red like this, like kind of shine. It's like a fiery orangey red. It's so beautiful. Um, I'm really tempted to use one of these shades like on top but i think these are like um a, like a topper for the eyes i'm not sure i really want to use this like red one let me see what it does i want to press it on Ooh, they're like a loose pigment <gasps> oh that is stunning stunning oh my god oh my god i feel like it's kind of taking oh it's so so nice oh my god no, I love it. I'm like literally like pressing it on. Who cares? It's fun. We're playing with makeup. It's so nice. Oh my god. Have I, have I ruined the red? I did like the red by itself, but this is just pretty. I feel like this is like a moment. Oh, it's like a fiery like. Ugh. Oh okay, my so God. hey guys, I literally added a little liner. My eye was watering, it's so annoying. Sometimes that tape can make my eyes water. I think it's a bit too close to my um outer tear duct. Um I do like the liner. I do prefer the fancy liner. I just like it because it's black and I find it easier to use. But I really like the eye look. Um I like the glitter on top, but I kind of like the red by itself. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the base and do my foundation and stuff just because I don't you guys have seen the foundation. Let me just do the base quickly so we can move on to the lips and highlight because that's the most juicy so guys i did my complexion how nice does my skin look if you guys want to update its foundation and contour routine i've been doing this new contour technique i learned on youtube i learned it on youtube so let me guys know in the comments down below i'm actually just smoking at the bottoms my eye keeps watering i'm not sure why this keeps happening who asked it to happen like did i ask for it like 
sis so i'm just smoking this underneath i'm gonna add a cute lash i really want to add like a pop of gold in the middle um i'm trying to think if i've got a thin brush i'm gonna add a thin brush of this um gold color here so we can see what's going on okay okay this gold's beautiful pat take my money take my um bank account number take my credit card this palette is just stunning honestly i'm looking to steal someone's man i'm looking to steal your adopted brother i'm looking to steal your dad it's just so stunning like oh my god this color right here look at my eyes i'm just like I'm gonna add some lashes guys so we can finish off this look so we can go through highlight and okay so guys the lashes are all on i just love these um miami lashes from lily lashes they're a bit hard to put on but when you kind of grasp them that you really really nice i haven't put any black eyeliner under there so don't mind that don't watch me don't ask me so i'm gonna put on this baby bubble highlighter here which looks like this this is so gorgeous i just can not cope i'm trying to think what brush i want to put on i haven't really powdered my cheeks so this should go on like butter this gold one here mm -mm -mm -mm. over for you hoes let me just put some on oh are you seeing that glow are you seeing that glow i can not cope oh oh it's going on like butter like i can't even i just i just oh, i can't even cope right now like what the hell this is stunning highlight is bomb why did i forget to put on the eyeliner pencil please so this is the extreme black ultra glide on so hold on okay i don't really like to wear black in the waterline because i feel like it makes me look tired but i'll make it a section for you pat okay Okay, so I put some black um, eyeliner on. I do like it. I just feel like any eyeliner makes my eyes water because when I wear contact lenses, I get really like scared of putting anything near my eye because with black eyeliners, I'm putting cork on by MAC. With black eyeliners, when they dry, if they're really creamy, um, they can break off and attach to my contact lenses. Then my contact lenses are ruined. That's why I hardly wear black eyeliners just because I know they do that. The only ones that don't do that are coals and coals aren't amazing because coals last the least amount of time which is annoying so yeah this is a fun tip for you so we're gonna put on this lipstick and this lipstick is called flesh the 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 rebish look at the packaging like it's incredible like sis can we have a moment mm, okay so i'm literally gonna put this lip on let's see what it looks like i feel like it looks a lot darker than I expected it is. I get why it's called flesh, because it kind of looks like um, bitten lips, if you get what I mean. It's a really nice color, you know? Do you guys like it? It kind of matches the eyes, what the eyes are going for, but it's nice. It's cute. I will say this formula is insane. Like it doesn't feel matte, is it matte? It is a matte lipstick, but it's a very creamy matte. I find this lip colour makes my lips look really big. I'm going to put a gloss on top. I'm going to put the Fenty gloss. So let's see what it looks like on top because I don't, I'm not sure if I'm like really keen on the colour. I feel like it's kind of clashing with the eyes. So let's go in with some gloss bomb. I love this gloss. It always makes my mouth water. What do you guys think of the finished look? I do love it. The highlight is stunning. The skin looks nice. The eyes look nice. So I just feel like I'm ready to go out. I feel like a hood bitch. <laughs> It's really really beautiful you get all these colors um i'm not sure if i'd pay that price myself it's so expensive and i feel like for the average person i think it's like 110 pounds it's very heavy though and i feel like it's a piece of artwork which will last you for years and years the lipsticks are really nice i just want to try it in a few more colors um the highlight palette i do love the highlight palette i think it's like my favorite bit of the collection i just love it because all the colors kind of work on my skin tone the middle ones are just stunning look it's got kind of like an iridescent gold i feel like the highlight palette you can really get some work out of um the eyeliner i feel like you can get black eyeliners anywhere um what else did i use for them i think that's all i had from the collection really um oh my god oh, i forgot to use that pat mcgrath glass 
oh my god i'm so annoyed it's okay i have to use it in another video but um i feel like this looks really good with fenty anyway but oh my god i really wanted to use it i'm so upset sorry guys um i'll use it in another video but um i do love her, her products are amazing you can't fault that the quality is there like the lip colors gorgeous the eyes look really nice um the highlight is popping let me guys know in the comments down below what you think i love you guys so much if you have any video ideas please voice them down below and i shall see you in my next video guys bye love you